Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a video on how to start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna be giving out tips and tricks and just you know all around my experiences and what I've learned as far as starting a YouTube channel. So if you want to see how to do so, then make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and let's get into this video. Okay, so I wrote down some, well, I typed up in my notes all of, you know, the tips that I have because I don't want to, I didn't want to forget anything. So I'm going to be reading from my phone to, you know, let you guys know everything as far as starting a channel. First tip that I have is to start right now. Like, don't wait until tomorrow, don't wait until next week, don't wait until next month. Just start your channel, like, you know, pick a picture to put up, figure out what you want your channel to be about. You know get a layout pick out a background whatever it is that you want to do but just start your channel because the longer you wait the more you're gonna put it off and that's the longer it's gonna take for you to actually just start growing on YouTube so my first advice my first tip would be to start right now okay so second I would say is to figure out your niche 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 I don't even know how to say that word y'all know what I'm talking about though pretty much what your channel is gonna be about what you want to put out and what you know just what kind of content you want to do whether it be hair makeup gaming food dancing singing whatever it is that you want to do figure that out and make sure that is what you stick to when you're filming all of your videos once you start getting subscribers the reason that they're subscribing is because of what you initially put out on your channel so you want to make sure that that is what you stick to it's a really big it has a really big impact on your channel growth so say for instance my channel is a beauty channel i focus mainly on makeup hair skincare all that good stuff so if for six months straight i'm posting straight hair and makeup videos and then out of nowhere i post a video on how to hang a picture on the wall people are gonna be like what the hell some people might be like unsubscribe and that can really affect your subscriber growth and your all around growth on your channel so once you figure out what you like that's what you want to stick to it's okay to switch it up a little bit but like don't drastically just change your channel out of nowhere because your subscribers are subscribed to you for a reason and it's mainly because of the reason why you started your channel and the first type of videos that you put out so make sure you figure out what you want to do and you stick to it for as long as you can and then you know if you feel the need that you need to change your channel up by all means do that but just know that you know if you have a lot of subscribers and they're here for makeup videos and you start doing random things that have nothing to do with makeup don't be too surprised if you notice that your subscribers are dropping or your views are dropping okay for the next tip i have i would say is to use what you have until you can actually invest in your channel and when i say use what you have i mean literally what i just said use what you have you don't have to go out and because you want to start a YouTube channel, oh, I have to buy a camera, I have to buy lighting, I have to buy this. You don't have to do all that. When I started my YouTube channel, <laughs> I used to film on my phone and I used to just film during the daytime. Right now I'm filming and it is 12.05 a.m. You probably can't tell what time it is because I have all these lights in my room now. I was able to, over time, invest in my channel. When I say invest, though, I don't mean, you know... Just because you have the money, go spend it on stuff. Because sometimes you start it and you might not like it. Some people start their channels and they don't like doing YouTube. They realize it's way too much. It's too much time and effort I have to put into it. Or they have other responsibilities that might stop them from being able to just focus on YouTube all the time. So, you know, you don't want to go out and just spend all this money on stuff. Because then it might become a weight. Sure, that is something that you actually like to do and that you, you know, are interested in doing before you start investing your hard-earned money into YouTube because nine times out of ten you're not going to be getting paid from YouTube when you first start I was like you don't want to be sitting here blowing all this money on stuff and then you don't you're not getting any money you're gonna start feeling like okay what was the waste and you might give up and that's what you don't want to do but I used to film during the daytime I used to use natural lighting when I first started I was not in this place I was in a different place 
and I had my vanity positioned right in front of the window in my living room and I would just open my blinds and I would just record during the daytime. People would be walking by watching me, looking at me like, what is this girl doing? But I was like, I did not care. And yeah, and I used to, I used to stack my phone on like all types of different, so I used to just rig it up, y'all. It was something that I wanted to do, so I made it happen. And then eventually, I realized I really love doing this. I really like doing YouTube, so I'm gonna invest in my channel piece by piece. I didn't buy everything at once. I did not have the camera that I'm using right now. I did not have lights at all. And it's a lot of other things that I just didn't have, but over time, I, you know, bought things here and there. The next step I have kind of falls into investing into your channel, which is, you know, your lighting. You want to make sure that your video, like, people can actually see you. Like, you don't want to be filming in the dark. Like, you want to make sure, like, especially if you're doing, like, hair videos or makeup videos. You know, sometimes, like, there are people, there are successful YouTubers who don't really... They don't, you know, have good lighting, but based on like what they're doing, it doesn't really require them to have good lighting. But if you're doing like hair and makeup videos, you want to make sure that you have good lighting so that they can see, you know, that detail work. Like I'm pretty sure if I didn't have these lights right now, you guys would not be able to see my makeup and like what I have on. Because this is what my channel is about. It's about makeup and beauty. I made sure that I invested in getting good lighting. So that, you know, if I couldn't film during the day and use natural lighting, I could film at night and it'll still have, you gotta still see the same quality. If you can do it, try to invest in, you know, some lighting. I got my lights. I have two softbox lights and one ring light, which is right in front of me. And I have two softbox lights. They're like facing me right here. If I didn't have these softbox lights, the ring light would work, but it would be a shadow behind me. And that's not what I want. I want everything around me to be well lit, lit up. And also, if I only had the softbox lights, you know, the front of me would be kind of dim. So I wanted to make sure that I was well lit because I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Like, I, why not? I want y'all to get all of the quality of what I'm doing because I actually love doing this for y'all. Two softbox lights from Amazon. I believe they, they came together. They were like one hundred. They're like hundred and fourteen dollars. And then I got my ring light. My ring light was like. 60 something I believe. I'm not exactly sure. It was a while ago when I bought it and I don't really remember the price but I will link everything in the description box for you guys. Another thing is quality. So it kind of goes along with lighting. You don't need you know all these big fancy lights to have good quality videos. Like I said when I first started I filmed on my iPhone. iPhones are they have really good quality for people who can't you know afford a camera. Go ahead and start filming with your iPhone before you spend all your money on the camera because cameras are not cheap. It took me the longest time to finally buy my camera because it's just like, I just kept contemplating, do I really want to spend all this money on the camera? Do I really want to do this? Like, am I sure I want to invest this money into this camera because if I don't, it's going to be a big loss for me because this camera was not cheap. I'm filming on the Canon T6i. It was a pretty penny. I'm not really sure how, you know, a Galaxy camera works, like how it looks, but I know iPhone cameras, they're, it, I know a lot of people who still film on their iPhone who are pretty big. A lot of people who vlog, they vlog with their iPhones and the quality is still really good. You don't want to just be uploading videos just to get videos up there because people are going to know. Viewers can tell when you're just uploading stuff just to upload stuff or just to try to get your views up and stuff. Because, you know, I can tell, or at least I can tell, I don't know about y'all, but I can tell people have just uploaded the video just because, especially the ones that are getting paid, just because they, you know, they want to get some money off of it. But, you know, try to make sure that the quality of your videos, like, the quality, that it looks like you put effort into it. You know, as you're editing your video, look at it and see, like, if you were the person viewing it, would you stay on that video and watch it? Think of it like that when, you, when you're putting videos out because... That's how other viewers are going to look at it. They're going to be like, okay, I'm looking at this video. It looks crappy. I'm going to click right off. But if it looks like it has, you know, decent quality, decent lighting, you're talking about something interesting or you're showing something interesting, it's going to keep people on your page, I mean, on your account. It's going to keep people subscribing. And that's how your channel is going to grow. Promoting yourself. You have to promote yourself because when you first start doing YouTube, I don't know if the rules have changed yet because they keep changing all their rules. But when I first started doing YouTube, you had to have at least three videos up for your name to be searchable. So if you uploaded a video and you told somebody about the video, the only way that they'll be able to see it is if they had a direct link. They're not going to be able to type your name in if only if you only have one video or even if you only have two videos. They have three videos 
in order for your name to be searchable. So you need to learn how to promote your stuff. So what I would do was I would film my videos, edit them, upload them to YouTube, and I would copy the link and I would post it on my Facebook page, on my Twitter, on my Instagram. I would take pictures on Snapchat and attach the links to my pictures on Snapchat. And it was just like, you know, it was like people to see, you know, oh, okay, she has a YouTube channel, let me swipe up or let me click this link. And that'll bring that'll bring traffic to your channel. Yeah, because when you're when you're a small YouTuber like me, you kinda have to go the extra step to promote yourself because you're not popping on on everybody's recommendations or you know a lot of people don't know your name on YouTube yet so you have to just you have to bite the bullet and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go that extra mile when it comes to promoting yourself and you know at first it's kind of like weird because it's kind of embarrassing it's like uh do I want to tell people about this video do I want to tell people do I want people to see that I only have like two subscribers or three views but it's like you have to you're gonna have to do that you got to get over that I got over that I used to hate when people would watch my videos or like hate when people <laughs> would watch my videos in front of me like I hate hearing my voice after I film like you know talking regular I don't care once I hear myself recording I would hate hearing people watch my videos or I would hate you know I just wouldn't want to really promote myself at first I was like I'm gonna wait until I get big but if you're never gonna get there if no one knows that you do YouTube so I just started telling people like hey I do YouTube videos y'all can look at my videos if I want to people knew that I did makeup I went to a cosmetology school so you know I would tell people here and there, you know, whoever I want, want to tell, or people would tell me things like, oh, you should make a channel. You should do that. Like, well, matter of fact, I do have a channel. This is the name, blah, blah, blah. This is the link. Click on this. And that's just how you get your name out there. And the more people that see your video, the more people that watch it, the more it's going to get circulated through YouTube and start to get advertised through YouTube. So, promotion is everything. Editing tips. So, editing tips you don't have to go out and buy you know all this expensive editing software like you know final cut pro whatever else everybody else is using i still use imovie when i first started on youtube i used imovie it comes on your phone for free of course it's the phone version so you're not going to get all of the you know all the same features that you would get as if you're using on your laptop now i edit on that laptop right there behind me and i still use imovie it comes with the computer as well well you can download it for free and you know it's a really good app. I'm gonna eventually get Final Cut Pro, but that bitch is like $300. I just, per personally, I like iMovie, I'm used to it, so it's really easy for me to edit now. I can finish editing a video in like an hour. Before, as far as editing tips, I would say, you know, watch certain YouTubers that you like and see how their videos go. Like, you know, I would see where certain, like certain makeup tutorials, I would watch and see where this person started, you know, speeding the video up and where they took out sound. And I would just kind of follow along and that's kind of where I got my editing skills from. Or I would just simply just Google and YouTube people editing and see just to see how stuff would work. Especially when I got my laptop and I didn't know how to edit on the computer because it was different from the phone. So I would Google different, um, so I would YouTube, you know, different tutorials <clears throat> on how they would edit their movies. And eventually you just catch on and it just comes like this. <laughs> what I have is thumbnails and titles. So thumbnails, your thumbnail needs to be popping sis, like it gotta be popping. It gotta be something that is gonna make somebody wanna click on your video. So it's like you're gonna click on what looks good first. You don't care what the title says, you're gonna click on what looks good. So make sure that your thumbnails are popping and it's something that's gonna make someone wanna click on your videos. Make sure that your titles are relevant to what you're posting about. There have been times where I've seen I've lost like 20, 30 subscribers from not posting for months at a time. So you have to be consistent if you want your channel to grow because the more that you constantly upload, the more YouTube will advertise your videos and that goes along with getting more views and more exposure. So make sure that you try your best to be as consistent as you can because like I said, I was not consistent at all. Now I'm very consistent. I try to upload at least every day and I can tell you, I see my numbers going way up. I see my watch time going up. I see clicks on my videos going up. I see my subscribers going up. A last tip would be is to just have patience. I'm telling you, just have patience. Nothing happens overnight. I'm telling you, if you work hard, put in the effort that it takes, then you will get to where you want to go. I had, I had like four subscribers for like the longest time. And then 
it went up to like 16 and I had 16 subscribers for even longer but it's just like you have to put in the work you have to put in the effort and you just have to be patient like if it's your time it's your time if it's not your time will come just do what you want to do and do you and just sit back and just watch things happen I'm telling you just be patient everything will pay off it'll all come together it'll all start coming together it's coming together for me a little bit I'm starting to see a little growth in my channel or whatnot and that I wasn't seeing for the longest because you know I was just ready for my channel to pop off but that's not how it goes at all you have to be patient and you just you just gotta wait your turn but that's the end of this video I hope these tips were helpful for anybody who is trying to start a YouTube channel or have already started and just need some tips and tricks just to get things going yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up make sure you comment on this video let me know what you guys think share this video and i will see you guys on my next one